Hi, I'm Perry from Rent and Ride, and I'm here to talk to you today because you bought one of these from us, a uh, mystery cheese box, which has been going on for quite some time now, but we keep on finding new exciting cheeses for you. You get five British Artisland cheeses in the box, you get a pack of Peter Yard biscuits, you get some uh, tasting notes, you get this video, which I'm talking to you about today. And yeah, I'm Perry from When It Rhymes. I'm a world cheese judge. I look after these maturing rooms that we're standing in right here just to make sure the cheese, the British cheese, is at peak perfection. And these are my five cheeses that I've selected for you for this month of July, which is quite exciting, actually. I'm really excited about this one because the cheese is just so good. It's really exciting stuff. And I think a lot of you are really going to enjoy this one. Maybe the best one I've done so far. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get stuck into the first cheese. First cheese up we have is Ashcombe. So it's made by David Jowlett down in uh, Chedworth. And uh, it's just a really cool looking cheese. Let's like speak about it visually. The most noticeable thing, this ash in the middle. This is a British Morbière style. So the French make Morbière. It was essentially when, you know, the main cheese everyone wanted, for example, was Conte. And the leftover milk, they'd make, uh, you know, one half the cheese out of it. They'd put ash on the top so it would protect it. Flyers wouldn't get to it. And then the next day, they'd put more curds on top. So you'd get this kind of, this ash in the middle, and this is a Morbier style, but this is Ashcombe, it's British, that's what we're all about. It's washed on the outside once again. You can see that pinky rind that's on there, which is means that the cheese has been washed, and it's such a beautiful example. I mean, let's just straight up give it a sniff, like so milky, so milky, a little bit poggy near the rind. It's such a remarkable cheese. Like, I love when we see British cheeses, which are so like ingenuity. You know, we've taken a style, we've made it our own, and like hats off to David. This is remarkable. So, cow's milk, so cutting into it, we've got a bit of springy, you know, that pliant texture, which you would expect in a Morbier, which is good. You know, a little bit of kind of eyelets in there, that's all good stuff coming across the center of the cheese. Um, yeah, and obviously the clear ash will be on the inside. Let's give it a sniff, you know, like milky, buttery. Slightly pongy on the on the on the rind. In these maturing rooms, we sometimes get a little bit of a problem with some unwanted mold growth on the outside. So I rewash these when they come in every now and again. But actually, this profile is perfect. So we're keeping them at good humidity, good temp in here to let them develop. Or, or, or you know, if the cheese comes in perfect, which most of the time it does from David, we just keep it at a stasis. So yeah, let's try it together. Texture on the pie is so good. That rigidity just doesn't last, it dissipates so quickly. It's so easy going. It's got a nice lactic spring to it, which borderlines like a slight yogurty dairiness to it. The peanutty, um, more like raw hazelnuts, is so good. What I love about this cheese, and I say it in my tasting notes, it's you know, you'd be remiss to like have it go, oh yeah, that's all right. You know, because it's not overpowering. It's got like a fermented edge to it as well as I'm chewing away. But once you layer it, it keeps on adding and adding and adding. It just gets so much better. And it gets like this really cool little, I describe it as, yeah, you might understate it on the first try, but it's like the gravitator. Like you've got to keep on going back to it, which I think is such a remarkable cheese. And I think... If you engage with this cheese and enjoy it, I think you guys will too. Remarkable cheese, well done, David. Great British Artisan cheese. Next cheese we have up is a brand new cheese to rent it and ride online. But Old Rome, made by Ben and Sam Spence in Yorkshire. It's a Wensleydale. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Wensleydale. We've seen them all before. But it's interesting. And I can't explain how interesting it is. You know, I can't recommend it enough in terms of don't write it off, right? So it's raw milk, so unpasteurized. There's so much more going with untreated milk, you know, taste of the region, you name that complexity, raw milk has it. I mean, one thing I'm advising with this, you've got your tasting notes for say like 45 minutes to an hour, get your cheese out, get it ready. This I'm saying, just leave it a little bit longer. Get a little kind of bit of chill in there. You know, it kind of is quite nice because it's not like a traditional crumbly Wensley now. I mean, we've got this beautiful rind, which I absolutely love. You know, it's, it's just so 
visceral and real and like you know mold of the region the smell of it is like fermented a little bit whiny which is great i mean and they come in they look beautiful i'll, I'll grab one so, one sec yeah so i just like uh, yeah so there you go so this is it whole you know this is how it comes in it's got this beautiful soft exterior on it and we've cut this down fresh for you straight straight in there now this cheese is so new to me we're just getting to know each other right now i've got it in a 88 to 90 humidity area temperatures quite low between eight and nine and we're gonna learn we're gonna learn a lot about each other and hopefully get to a profile that really is you know run it online but i love this profile at the moment and that's why i needed to go into the box so that's what it looks like old road so sorry i'm getting carried away and excited about it so chop the nose off a lot of you will grimace at that but i always advise get straight into your cheese and just enjoy it right you know so texture right so it's crumbly like a wednesday dow should be but it's sticky as well and it's quite creamy so it's quite different the texture of it which is great it's got this stickiness which is cool the aroma please 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 engage with it <laughs> like i can't explain how good that is for june you know the sun out, the sun's out and things like that i mean this is just summer in aroma like i could I, I could put this in a candle and i think i'd sell tons of it or something but it's such a great aroma it's really good you know and then flavor it is so good like traditional wednesday dow zinginess yogurtness boom straight up there moving into creams moving into grassiness just near the rind now minerality earthy mushroom coming in from that rhinus on the outside now that acidity is turned to vinegary um just jesus you know well done spencers that is it's just such a remarkable cheese and you know wensley dows and lactic styles are kind of dropping off the face of the earth because more and more people you know don't normally gravitate to wensley dows because we're used to that packs and wax and mass made wednesday dows but that just puts it back on the map again i love it it's so great that i really hope you enjoy that old rome wednesday dow two fantastic cheeses i'm so happy with this board so far next cheese up half rods from wales organic um you know really good quality milk you know like that's what i always say about it you know like if you it's a cheddar style it's a cheddar style cheese you know like montgomery's or westcombe whatever but it's a real sort of the earth and i think we're just getting some real raw artisan minerality from these cheeses and a slightly higher lifted one and i still so half odd in the way it's tasting at the moment goes really well together so you've got that slightly more creamier than the cheddars that we're used to in terms of texture crumbly but a little bit sticky which is great you've got that beautiful rind on the outside i feel like i want to grab one to show you what they come in now i've shown you one i know I'm, i go on but i just want to express how fun these cheeses are i keep my cheddars back here so i want to be as long oh, one second i'm back here's the half odd yes yeah so they come in these we cut them down for you we mature them we make sure they're perfect and we understand what the profiles are which is very very cool you know so pop that up there i'll do that later great cheese smell grassy cheddary know what you're eating i'm not angry about that i like people to know how what cheddars are but so good so good that tang that you get typical cheddar into savoriness but the texture is just unbelievable that move between creamy and like softness is just something to behold that is that is the i, I think this could be the one of the best half odds I've, I've ever had you know so great three amazing cheeses this like i said i think i you know i pick the cheeses i mature them i come up with a plan i leave it for a couple of days i get the guys to cut me up a box i bring it in here to present to you guys and i kind of forget what i've selected and why i've selected it because i want it to be authentic to you how much i'm enjoying this cheese and I, hopefully it is but 
that's three remarkable cheeses in a row, you know. It, it's a great selection. Moving on to our next cheese, good friend of ours, Juliana. I'm going to see her this month, which is amazing. One of my first post-lockdown site. I'm going to see some cows visits, which makes me so happy. Um, Jersey cows, and they're so high quality, but so difficult to work with Jersey cows. And Juliana is just a superb cheesemaker. She's just exceptional. This is a British Revolution style. We've had it in the box before, but Juliana gave me a call. We spoke, and I just felt invigorated to work it into the boxes, which is great. We've got that peachy outside again, Wash Ryan. We've got that stored in, you know, with cow's milk um, and just this really nice balance. You know, it's a little bit cold in here at the moment, um, so, so we're not getting the full breakdown which you would expect. But, you know, breakdown on the outside, creamy, buttery, that's what we're hoping for, lactic middle, to bring through the freshness that we've kind of got in this board. That's the idea, let's hope it works. Aroma, you know, it's got a slight mushroom element to it, which is good, and a, a good degree of saltiness as well, which is nice. And cream butter, butter is predominant in this one, like a raw, a raw butter, which is great. Let's give it a taste. Noticeably soft. Noticeably a different journey from the three other cheeses, which is so cool. I love that juxtapose we've we've applied here. We've had similar strains in everything. And now I've gone, hey, Baronet, it's now different. Give it give it a go. And it just changes the palette, erases, and this is what I love about the Baronet. I keep on using it. I need to, it erases memories. It's got a neutrality and a bitterness to it. And the softness comes over the palate, and it's like mineral water in a really great way. It kind of washes, it's a bit like soap dust, washes that, cleanses the palate, and like a, that cleanse palate happens quite early, and as you keep on going, it just evolves. That raw nuttiness that's there as well, the butter that's coming in, the grassiness that's there, the quality of the milk singing through in texture and style, Another amazing cheese. Final cheese. I'm getting through it. Um, Shropshire Blue, made by Cropwell, my favourite Stilton makers down in Nottinghamshire. And um, I wanted to add a little bit of colour, a little bit of interest. And these cheeses were Shropshire. So they have a, a South American seed in that's crushed down. It's food colouring essentially, but natural, which is a natto. That colours it orange. And I think it's just a very striking statement on a board. I mean, it looks so, so stunning, you know, it really does. It looks really stunning. Um, and you obviously you've got good coloration of the blue veins that are in there, so consistent. They're expert cheese, uh, cheese makers and still makers. They know what they're doing, you know, and it just provides that beautiful, I mean, you guys should take photos of this and send it to me, you know, Reddit and Ryan, just Google us on Instagram and send it, because this is a beautiful looking board. They look very raw, visceral and artisan, which is so cool. Let's give it a cut and get straight in. Smell, poppy, biscuity, traditional stilton, which you're gonna get. A little bit more lactic in this. I've noticed that with Anato cheeses. They're a little bit more fresher and quite more distinguished from their stilton counterparts. Savory, meaty, but very understated, not overwhelmed like pow, you know? Let's give it a taste. Great texture. Unbelievably light. Moving into the strong bitter notes, like uh, wherry or, uh, you know, a pine, a pine of bitter. Coming out, bit of tingling acidity there, bit of pepperiness that comes in at the back, which is really pleasant. Moving into that saviness, bitterness kind of being the encapsulating. Bitterness is not bad, okay? It is, I'm providing differentials here, and this bitterness is more prominent, but in a really good way. The texture takes care of that. The texture pushes it down and actually makes it really pleasurable. Great, great cheese. Five amazing British artisan cheeses. I mean, it is phenomenal how far we've come as cheese makers. Guys, support them. You know, you don't have to just buy British Art Sand cheese from me. You can seek it out anywhere. Just seek it out from an independent and get involved in it. Because one, yes, it is British, 
but we are so bloody good at making cheese. It's so great. And yeah, it's an absolute pleasure to present these five outstanding cheeses. And I mean, I would normally turn around and say to you, right, I'm going to pick my favourite because everyone loves when I do that. But this time I'm just not. They're so great individually. You know, Ashcom on its own is just the perfect opener. Old Rome is just something new, old, familiar, but just so interesting. Hathod is one of the best cheddars that I've had this year, hands down, and one of the best styles that it's had. Baronet, just typical, consistent awesomeness, and a Shropshire Blue just tying that all up for us. They're all just amazing. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Please, if you've enjoyed the video, leave us a review. We are a small independent. We require as much support as you give us. Find us on social media. We're a really friendly bunch. Give us a chat. You know, we just want to help you with your cheese requirements. So just give us a shout. Of course, British cheese requirements, I should say. Have a lovely July, and I'll see you next month with more interesting stuff. Don't be a stranger. Look us up, www.renitandrhyme.co.uk. Get in touch with us, 01480 831112. Ask for Perry, and I'm always happy to have a chat about cheese and expand our cheese excitement. Thanks a lot, guys.